Hello Taurus, welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. This is Andrea and I'm here to do your love reading and it will be from January to February 2021 for the sign of Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. So I hope you well Taurus, let's get straight into your reading and pull your overarching energy for love, romance, relationships 2021, January to February 2021. Okay, two cards there. Oh, I've got the Ace of Wands with the Knight of Swords as your overarching energy. Knight of Swords can be Gemini for me as a reader as well. That might resonate for some of you. Let's pull some cards. So what do we have for Taurus, please? Angels, Spirits, Guides. Message for our lovely Taurians, thank you. In love, romance, relationships only. January to February 2021, thank you. So I'm going to pull three cards. First card is the issue or challenge you face, Taurus. Second card is advice from spirit. Third card is the future outcome should you take the advice. And then we clarify the cards and go deeper into the message. And it won't resonate with everybody, so just take what resonates with you. Okay, so what do we have for Taurus in love, romance, relationships, angel spirits, guides? Okay, so I have the strength card. It's the issue or challenge we have, advice from spirit, the ten of swords. And there you are, king of pentacles in your future outcome. Very nice energy. Okay, so let's clarify the cards and go deeper into the message here, Taurus. Message for Taurus, please, Angel Spirits Guides. I'm just going to zoom in a little bit, Taurus, so you can see the cards. There we go. Okay. Can we clarify the cards on the table for Taurus, please? Love, romance, relationships only. Angel Spirits Guides. Uh, January to 20. January to February 2021. Thank you. Okay, so what do we have for Taurus, please? Message for our lovely Taurians. Thank you. Okay, so I have the King of Cups and the Six of Pentacles. Six of Swords clarifies the Ten of Swords. That's really nice energy, Taurus. And we have the Nine of Swords clarifying the King of Pentacles with the Page of Cups at the bottom of the deck. Okay, so your challenge position. We have the Strength. This is somebody connecting to their power, strength, resoluteness. And it can be to face fears, face challenges, adversities. You know, strength exists. We find our power when, we, when it's tested. And it feels in this situation you've been tested. Now, that could have been the last day, the last week, the last month, the last year, the last few years, you know. Um, timing can be fluid with these readings, especially with challenges and issues. So the Six of Pentacles and the King of Cups... It's a message here, Taurus, of now is the time for you to find your strength because I do feel in this situation it's time for you to receive love. I mean, this is Taurus energy, the Six of Pentacles, and it's an energy of, can be a card of giving and receiving, but it feels like this is where the universe is saying it's time for you to receive love, uh, be open to receive love. You know, put your energy into receiving love now because this King of Cups, it can be a card of Scorpio for some of you. So we have Scorpio on the table here. Could be a water sign, general water sign, so Pisces, um, Cancer, Scorpio. But there's definitely an energy of having strength, courage to face your fears or to overcome some challenge that you faced here because it feels it's your time to receive. So it's a lovely energy of things being coming back into balance as well. Definitely getting this energy of balance being restored. I see the scales, the six, 
at two sixes side by side, there's an energy of finding equilibrium balance again. So it might well be to do with how you might have been perceiving a situation here, Taurus. It feels that you're finally getting harmony and balance back into your life again. Because I definitely feel for some of you, you have been through a tough time. I mean, the Ten of Swords is tough energy, but it's a ten, which is a completion as well. Spirit is telling you that this situation is over now, if you allow it to be over. This is a card of the pain is over. Though the pain has been very real, the pain has been very deep with the Ten of Swords. And this can be about loss. This can be to do with being deeply wounded, even by something unexpected sometimes. Um, but nevertheless, there is a new day, a new dawn rising in the distance. You can see the yellow pushing away the dark clouds, finding illumination on how to release, let go of something now. It feels like it's, it, it can be a card of release for that reason. The new day, the new dawn energy. It is a time of this has run its course and you are getting balance back in your life. You are ready to move on. And it feels like you're ready to move on physically, but maybe also energy-wise as well. Ready to focus on new paths, new horizons, new connections. Uh, because this can be about moving from troubled times to calmer waters. But it's a healing energy as well. Healing your energy. Being ready to make that transition to be open to something new now. So it feels very real and very beautiful. Definitely an energy of the worst is, will soon be behind you, January to February. Um, you will find direction through whatever this Ten of Swords was and move towards something better. So it's a lovely energy of life transitions. Can also be to do with moving, relocating, uh, also travel for some of you as well, obviously. Uh, we, we do have the pandemic in the world at the moment, so social distancing and all that. People are at different life stages in different countries and, and different stages of, of isolation. But there's definitely an energy of you will be able to, even energy-wise, just put something that was very difficult to deal with behind you once and for all because it's over. It's over, finally. The King of Pentacles is you. Yeah, and the King of Pentacles is a card of somebody who understands how to bring solidity, safety, security back into your life. And that's definitely an energy of what you're moving towards. Understanding what is of value to you now and things that don't serve you in terms of value anymore. You know, it feels in this situation what you placed value on Maybe focusing on things that hurt you in the past, how you place value on that, you know, how you gave that energy, how you gave that life and it kept you stuck in the past or stuck in the hurt for a period of time here, Taurus. It feels in this situation, that's what you're, you're kind of like readdressing, you know, what you place your value on now, what is important to you in life and reassessing that kind of energy. Um, I mean, the Nine of Swords can be about stress, anxiety, upset, worry, still dealing with some kind of like hurt that caused stress, anxiety, worry of the past. But it's a distorted reality, the Nine of Swords. And it's, it's to do with the mind, how we perceive something, our perceptions, thought patterns, how we view something. Um, and the more we focus on the negative, the more things like are distorted in our mind, how we perceive the future, how we perceive things moving forward. So there's definitely an energy if you need to get balance of the mind, some kind of balanced perspective now. You have the opportunity to re-establish some kind of balance by prioritizing or reprioritizing what is of value to you in your life and what isn't. Because for some of you, there is definitely a new connection. This is an offer of new love, a message of new love. The pages can be messengers and they're generally the beginnings of something new, the beginnings of change. Things start looking up and this is something that may come in unexpected to you. So there is definitely potential to connect to somebody new here. Could be somebody already in your circle, could be somebody new. But there are definitely better times ahead for some of you, finding direction, moving on from what this mental energy was, from what this mental challenge was as well, 
from the thing that caused you stress, anxiety, worry, there is definitely a re-establishment of what is of value to you now because you're being told it's time for you to receive new love. It's time for you to be open to new love. And again, that King of Cups energy is somebody who rises above situations. You know, they master their emotions and it's almost kind of like you're being told now is the time for you to master the thing that's keeping you in this Ten of Swords, the thing that's keeping you stuck, there is a reprioritization of what is of value to you. And I'll tell you why, because I look at these cards now, because there is definitely an important conversation with somebody new and it's exciting and it feels it's going to, it's coming, it's going to come in quite unexpectedly. It might take you by surprise, but it's beautiful because for some of you, this could be starting a conversation with somebody new and it's exciting, a new exciting connection because the Ace of Wands is an energy of excitement. It fires your passions. It sparks your passion, your desire. Um, chemistry, most definitely. This is the potential for real growth as well, should you take action towards it. So there's definitely an energy here, Taurus, of reevaluating what is of value to you in your life and what's not worth your time and energy anymore. Because for some of you, there is definitely some kind of exciting new person connection coming into your life. And it feels, it might well come in quite suddenly, it might well come in quite unexpectedly here. I mean, you could meet them in the most unexpected of places as well. Um, but nevertheless, it definitely feels in this situation, there is definitely change on the cards. The Knights talk about change. The Knight of Swords is fast progress, it's fast moving energy. Something that comes in quite suddenly, quite fast. Um, some kind of new spark, new connection, new chemistry. But my goodness, things start to look up and it's the beginnings of something new with these cards, new beginnings. So definitely an energy to re-establish what's of value in your life now, because for some of you, it feels like there's better times ahead. So don't get stuck in your own head, in what's gone on in the past, however challenging, it's a time for you to connect to your own power. And interestingly enough, the strength card was always originally about mastering one's thoughts. Um, the line being the thought patterns, the beast of the thought patterns, you know, how things can spiral out of control and how slowly but surely we manage to overcome our own demons, overcome our own um, wildness of thought by tempering it, by bringing things back in, con under control, by mastering it. And that's how we regain our power. Focusing on what's of value to and what isn't now. Because for some of you, there is beautiful, beautiful. There is definitely some new conversation, new person, new connection coming your way. I mean, I definitely see that here. Very exciting, has real potential. It has potential. So don't, what I'm worried about, Taurus, is if you're in this kind of like mindset, you might well just not be open to it, or you might not see it, or you might not, um, you might dismiss it. So there's definitely an energy of now is a time to be open uh, and allow yourself to just focus on embracing new directions, new connections. Okay, so final message for Taurus, please. Final message for Taurus in love. Very exciting, Taurus. I uh, love that Ace of Wands energy. Real potential. Such potential with somebody. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> we have Raven, a wise woman. We have a change is coming. It is. A change is coming. Oh, I love the energy of the snake because the snake, when I see it, it's shedding all skin. It links to transformation. Transformation is available to you now. Um, so we have shedding all skin definitely with this energy. Kundalini rising, channel your creative passion and sensuality. Welcome the transformation. Absolutely. 
So I hope you enjoyed the reading. If you did, please do like, share and subscribe. I hope it's a wonderful month or two for you, Taurus, and I will see you next time. Thank you.